Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the six cheapest VPNs for 2020. These VPNs are all very good VPNs. I'm going to be talking about them in terms of how they are rated on the tier list. So in terms of recommendation, the first one is recommended the most. The last one's recommended the least. Now, price is something I don't think most VPN reviewers really consider. Most of the time, it's because they're trying to sell you expensive products that have high commission rates, so they'll make more money. My channel is completely different, however, because I recommend products that are actually good for you. Products that aren't going to rob your wallet. Products that aren't going to be costing you a lot of money, but still give you a good return for your money. They're going to be good investments, good values, and today we're going to be talking about the best ones. Hey guys, just a reminder to check out vpntierlist.com. If you want to help support the channel, I recommend visiting my website using Brave. It's a great browser for privacy advocates. And if you guys visit vpntierlist.com by downloading Brave and using it by going to brave.com slash tom352, you can help support the channel. So once you have Brave installed and ready to go, you can check out vpntierlist.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel and you're gonna find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a VPN. Anyways, back to the video. So guys, first up, we're gonna be talking about none other than, of course, TorGuard VPN. TorGuard VPN, at the end of the day, is a very good priced VPN because of their very generous promo codes. Now, it's probably one of the best deals on the internet itself because the promo codes are 50% off and they pretty much last all the time. So if you take these prices and you cut them by half, that's pretty much what you're going to be paying and you get a lot of things for that money. You get eight simultaneous connections, which is much more than a lot of VPNs out there. Not only that, but you get an included proxy, which you can use for torrenting or as a kind of extension. Um, they don't collect any logs, of course, they have really good speeds, some of the best in the industry, for, especially for downloading torrents. Not only that, but you can also get the streaming bundle, which is around $11 a month or $60 a year, and that includes two streaming IPs, um, which is going to be very good for streaming. And uh, I have several videos about that if you're interested in that. But this deal is $5 a month, and if you pay for a year, it's only $30 a year, which is the cheapest VPN package anywhere for a yearly subscription that includes everything. Um, so it's a very well-priced VPN. All right, guys, next up is going to be a VPN called AirVPN. AirVPN is only around $7.56 one month, six months, $31, one year, $52, two years, $85, and three years, $106. TorGuard with that coupon code was $90 for three years and $60 for two years. Um, so this one, it does kind of catch up in these later stages, but for one year, it's going to be a little bit more pricey than TorGuard, and one month is going to be a little bit pricey as well. However, the bonus is you don't need to remember promo codes. Um, this is just the pricing as it is. The only downside is, is that you only get five simultaneous connections, um, whereas TorGuard, you get eight. But the good thing about AirVPN is that it's an excellent VPN in most every other respect. It's got um, the included proxy. It's a very transparent company, a very good company. It's very secure, no logs. Um, it's a very solid VPN pretty much in every category. It's not the best for streaming and it's got some kind of outdated aspects in that it doesn't really have um, an iOS application. Um, but you can use OpenVPN and other applications with it. Um, so overall, it's a very solid VPN, one of my favorites on the channel for a long time. It's around my number two rated VPN on the channel, so definitely a very solid pick, very good price, good bang for your buck, no questions asked. Next up is going to be a lesser known VPN called Cactus VPN. Now Cactus VPN is one of those VPNs you don't see talked about that much, but it's a very good value. It's only $7 for one month, $55 a year, um, around $18 for three months and two years is going to be $95. So it gets a little bit more pricey here. It only has five simultaneous connections, but it's the same as AirVPN and still not bad. Not quite as good as TorGuard. And it doesn't have quite as big of a server network. However, in my test, I've actually found that Cactus VPN is pretty damn fast. It's faster than some other VPN providers like NordVPN, um, Surfshark, some of those VPNs that are way overhyped. Cactus VPN at the end of the day is a very solid product. It's a pretty trustworthy company, um, good support, a good team here behind this VPN, and it's always kind of been something I really like and I don't think gets enough attention. Next up on the list is VPN Unlimited. Now this one's more expensive than all the other options pretty much in terms of one month and the year and three years. The interesting thing about VPN Unlimited is that it has a lifetime payment for $200. Now if you're going to buy a lifetime subscription to a VPN, the only one I would recommend is this one. That's because VPN Unlimited 
pretty much works with all the streaming services. It's got decent speeds. It's got a decent application. It supports most of the stuff that you'll need from a VPN. And the only thing that's kind of questionable about it is that it might collect a little bit more logs than some other VPN providers and it might not be as trustworthy. However, that said, if you're hung up on getting a lifetime subscription for a VPN, you just wanna pay one price and keep it for maybe, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years, this is the one to do it. I don't really recommend lifetime packages because who knows, this company could sell out someone else that you don't trust, the service could close, and then your money is gone. But for $200, it's not a bad kind of asking price. If you see a VPN offering unlimited subscriptions or a lifetime subscription for 20 bucks, then you know that's shady. But $200 seems like a fair price for me for a lifetime subscription. And this is a good VPN provider in my review. Last up on the list, we're gonna have something called Fruit VPN. Now Fruit VPN is definitely not as well known as some of their options. And I actually didn't really take a look at it until, I mean, sometime within the last year. However, it's a really good price VPN provider. It's only $5 for one month. For 12 months, it's around $36. Three months is 12 bucks. And this is a solid VPN. It's got decent speeds, good applications. It's only got five simultaneous connections, but still that's not too bad. No logs and um, it's a solid VPN. Like I said, not many people are talking about it, but I actually really liked it in my tests um, um, as like kind of a decent kind of generalized kind of case for VPN. You know, it doesn't really support streaming and it doesn't have the best support and the app's a little wonky, but overall a very solid product in the end. Anyways guys, these are my thoughts on some of the best and cheapest VPNs for 2020. Let me know down in the comments down below if you decide to purchase any of these and if you wanna help support the channel, click on the links down in the description and it'll help me continue to be able to make videos just like this one. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video very soon. Tom Spark out.